Good news, everyone. This is Mr. Marlin. In this video, I'm just going to quickly go over question number five from the example problems in class. Now, the heart of this question is that using Newton's second law, we know information, or we can know information, about the acceleration of an object. So if I know the net force, I can find the acceleration. If I know the acceleration, I can find the net force. Um, on the other side of things, acceleration also, once I look at an object that's accelerating, I can figure out some stuff uh, about it using kinematics. So if I can use kinematics to find the acceleration, that acceleration will bridge me into dealing with stuff about uh, a net force. So acceleration is kind of the link between these two things. So I'm going to go ahead and look through this problem. Uh, the turtle realized that he forgot something and goes back to the top of the 100 meter building he is in. And so I'm going to start seeing some kinematic stuff working in. So I'm going up an elevator. My building is 100 meters tall. So now I know the delta y. Initially at rest, I know my initial vertical velocity. It starts not moving. The elevator exerts a constant tension force. So on my elevator, and on my turtle, uh, there is a constant upward force. So if I'm looking at the force exerted on the actual cable cart, you know I have some constant tension force exerted on there. Um, and then the, there's obviously a weight force that's exerted um, onto the elevator and subsequently the turtle. Um, but because it's accelerating from rest, that tension has to be greater than the weight of the overall cable, otherwise it would never accelerate. And so it's saying it's going to exert a constant tension force such that it's going to reach the top of the building in 10 seconds. So now I know a delta T. Uh, and then it says, what does the scale underneath the turtle read? And so if I'm looking at my little turtle in my elevator, he's on a bathroom scale, and all the turtle feels, even though that uh, elevator cable is pulling up on the on the overall um, cable cart, the turtle itself only feels its own weight, and the normal force from the bathroom scale pushing up on him. Now, because he's accelerating upwards, that little normal force is going to have to be greater than the weight acting on him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be accelerating with with the whole car. So I'm trying to find the normal force on the scale. What is that normal force on the scale? Because the scale is just supporting him. And depending on how much it's pushing on him, that scale is going to change its reading. All right, the other thing we need to know uh, is from the last problem, it told us that the mass of our turtle was 5 kilograms. So I can even put this on my list here. Uh, 5 kilograms was the turtle's mass. kg. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to find an equation uh, that relates all of these. Um, acceleration is going to be the link between these two things. So if I can find the acceleration of this system, um, then that means I can use Newton's second law to figure out some stuff about the forces, which I'm going to need to figure out the normal force. So I'm going to find acceleration first any way that I can, and I'm going to use kinematics here. So I have delta y, I have initial velocity, I have delta t, I'm looking for a. We have an equation that relates all those. Kinematic equation number one. Uh, the initial velocity is zero, so that reduces us down to this equation here. I'm going to solve for a sub y. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to get the a sub y is equal to 2 times delta y divided by delta t squared. And so what I can do now is I can solve for my acceleration using what I know about kinematics. 100 meters vertical displacement. Divide that by the 10 seconds that it took to travel that uh, 200 meters. And I can figure out that my acceleration um, is 2 meters per second squared. Okay. Now I know my acceleration. 
So once I know acceleration, now I can go back over to Newton's second law and deal with what's going on over there. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and swing this over a little bit. So Newton's second law says that my net force in the y direction has to be equal to the object's mass, in this case my turtle, times its acceleration. Um, in the y direction, the net force I'm going to say is equal to all the helping forces minus all the hindering forces. So in this case, my helping force on my turtle is my normal force minus the hindering force on the turtle and accelerating is going to be my weight equals ma. And now that I know what my uh, normal force is, normal minus mg is equal to ma. Uh, and so I can actually swing mg over to the other side. Normal force is equal to. Now, all I did for that was I said helping force was normal minus the hindering force was my weight. That's going to give me my net or my overall. So if I swing mg to the other side, I have mg plus ma. Uh, if I do a little substitution, or excuse me, pull out, uh, factor out m, um, normal force is equal to mass times g plus a. Um, and then I can go ahead now and plug in what I know. My mass is 5 kilograms. Uh, g is going to be 10 meters per second squared plus 2 meters per second squared. And then 5 times 12 is going to give me my overall force, 60 newtons. So my normal force must be 60 newtons. Um, that's going to give me the force that that normal, for, uh, normal is going to have to be in order to accelerate the turtle like he needs to in this problem. All right, quite easily done. I hope that this podcast was helpful, uh, and I will see you guys all tomorrow.